Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Visha, and in today's video, we're going to turn this beware sign into a buffalo check sign. So, what I'm going to do, because I still want to use this um, for next year, this beware sign, I just bought it from out of the Dollar Tree. I'm seeing a lot of people reuse their signs from the Dollar Tree to make their own designs. So I figured, you know what, why not? Let's try and, um, not let's try, but let's make a design out of it as well. So I'm doing the red and black buffalo check on the back of this. And we're going for the white um the white side like a white that says joy i like this glitter idea here that they have on the beware side i actually like that i think i might um incorporate glitter on this for the white part as well as you guys well you don't know but this year my theme for Christmas it's going to be a farmhouse buffalo check theme. I don't have scissors so I'm just talking to you guys while I take this off. But tell me down below what is going to be your theme for Christmas and how soon do you decorate? Do you wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate like traditional or do you decorate um, whenever in November? let me know in the comments down below so the tools that i have are these sponges i got these sponges from walmart i got this paint um from walmart and i have black paint as well i have black paint as well so the first thing i'm gonna do is put paint Red paint. Ooh. Let me make. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm doing is painting the wood red. I did not stain it at all. I just figured just go ahead and paint it. Um, I got this idea from a lot of YouTubers that I saw with Buffalo Check because this year my theme is the red truck in the Buffalo Check, the farmhouse style. So. I'm adding another layer of paint. I let the paint dry first. Let the paint dry first before you add your second layer of paint. Are you guys excited for Christmas? I know that I am. I am ready. I love Christmas. It is my ultimate favorite holiday. I love seeing Nevaeh smile when she opens up her gifts. I just love Christmas. <laughs> So now we're going to take the painter's tape and you're going to find the middle of whatever piece of wood that you're using. So we're going to put one piece down first. The second piece of painter's tape is the spacer and then another piece, the third piece. And we're just going to repeat, repeat that step. So pull up the second piece of painter's tape and put it on the other side. And then you're going to just continue to repeat that step. My wood piece here was small, so I only needed to use two spacer pieces. Okay, so now after this space is all clear, <laughs> you're going to go ahead and take your paint. So my first layer of paint that I am putting on, it is red mixed with a little bit of black just to make it a little bit darker than the first initial paint that we use when you're painting go down the grain of the wood if that makes sense just go down do not try to go across or anything um, this paint did not bleed which I was so happy about that it did not bleed that's one thing I was worried about and as you get when I'm done, you're gonna see that I'm gonna give you like the thumbs up because I was so proud of myself. This is my first time doing this. <laughs> I put my mind to it and I was focused. Oh, 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 
so guys when you're done painting you can go ahead and lift up the painters tape you do not have to wait for it to dry but you do have to wait at least 30 minutes to an hour for the paint to dry before we can continue to our next step Hey guys, so now I'm going to take the pieces going vertical. The first time I did it was horizontal. So vertical, you're just going to complete the same steps. You're going to start with one, make the second piece your spacer piece, the third piece stay down, make the fourth piece your spacer piece, the fifth piece stay down. And you're going to do that until you get all the way um, across or um, and when your board is completely done with stripes going down <laughs> guys this voice over whatever you get you gotta get i'm sorry this is my third time redoing this same piece right here for this voice over but again put one down make the spacer put another painter's tape down pick the spacer back up put the spacer down again Put the painter's tape down, pink the spacer piece back up again. And you're just gonna continue to do that step all the way across. Once all the painter's tape is down, you're going to take your third color now, which for me is red and black, but this time I added more black to the red paint to make this deep burgundy type color. And you're just gonna paint that all the way down. Again, remember going with the wood, not going across it, just going down the wood and your paint will not bleed. My paint did not bleed at all all which I was so thrilled and happy about. Once we are done painting the deep burgundy color, we're going to let this paint dry again for 30 minutes to an hour, but this time leaving the painter's tape on. We're not going to take the painter's tape off because we need it so we can get that last final color. So once the paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and put the painter's tape back where we first placed it the first time. This step is very very important you want to place it directly right where you had it the first time once we have that all set we're going to take our black paint and we're going to just go ahead and paint it here i was dabbing it but you don't have to dab it i could have literally just painted the um, paint down like i'm doing right now um, you don't have to dab the paint in if you don't want to.
So here comes the moment of truth. You do not have to wait for the paint to dry. Once you're done painting with the black paint, you can go ahead and take the painter's tape off. Guys, I was so excited. Look how beautiful this turned out. This is so gorgeous. I, I am still excited right now by me even re-looking at this. It, I did an awesome job. This was so beautiful. Thanks to all those YouTubers who was creating this content. Like I was so happy. I even showed my sister. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And this right here is the final result of what I did to it. Guys, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.